The most important thing is the voiceover. So having great audio and then most important, and this is where, you know, it's, it's so obvious, but people get hung up on a great microphone but they don't set it up in a way where it sounds great. And I'm a little in my head right now, like hopefully this sounds pretty good. Cause like I said, this is a new setup. Um, let's do this. Uh, I, I like that, like before it was up here and it's like, I don't want like, look at the pretty lighting and the wall and the symmetry. And like, I don't want to mess with that. You know? So like I did what I could to position the microphone properly. And, and then it's really, a case of learning to create content and practice the voiceover in a way that's compelling. It's knowing when to talk fast. It's knowing when to slow down and say, what happened next? You know, you'll never believe it. You know, and in that moment, what happened next completely shocked me. When you do that, you're telling people to listen. Nothing is worse than Hi, my name is Brian, and today I want to talk about YouTube growth, and it's really great to have you here. And I've been a YouTuber now for about, oh, I guess about eight years, and I've uploaded about 800 videos. And I think it's really a fun and exciting thing. Well, then tell me about it. Show me. Let me hear it. And that begins with a great voiceover. However, there is something really powerful about putting yourself on camera, and I'm still pissed off about the slightly overexposed image, but I'm, I'm going to do my best to get over it. But I would say focus on that, um, your own voiceover for sure. And then if you want to dabble with being on camera, do that. And just like I've said, at that moment, lighting is your friend. Before you buy a fancy camera, for the love of God, have some nice lighting for you. So right now I've got this huge softbox right here. Huge, like it's the softbox is this big. Um, I've got it on a little remote control. I got to get these working again. One of them works for my other setup. But you really want to dial in your lighting because that's going to make the image look great. Much more powerful to have a kind of low grade camera, but great lighting. Like if someone said, I'm going to give you a $3,000 Sony full frame camera and that's it, or I'm going to give you $2,000 worth of lighting and then you can use your phone. I would start with the lighting because, well, lighting, there's a reason why we love sunsets and sunrises.